What's going on guys? Aaron from Top Tier Gaming here and today I want to talk about several cards in the game right now that a lot of people have on their radar to be banned on the upcoming list. Now this video isn't like a ban list video but it's sort of going to be a discussion on the idea of even though there's so many cards that we want banned on this upcoming ban list that should be out soon. I was hoping it was going to be out Monday as of recording this uh, but that was squandered by my favorite company Konami. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about the idea that if out of all the cards we want banned, we can only ban one of them, which card should it be? And I'm just going to briefly talk about all the cards a lot of people have on their radars, sort of discuss them, what they're doing in the format, and then sort of give my thoughts on the answer. So uh, before we get into the video, Discord link down below if you want to, if you guys like want to check out the Discord, and we got some things going on there. We ha do have plans to make it bigger and better than it is now, but it's just about finding time to do all those. Uh, and yeah, if you like what we do here, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, let's get into it. So starting off with some of the cards that people have on their radar, right? So first of all, Verte Anaconda. I think everyone has talked about Verte at this point. If you're watching anyone else's ban list videos, you've probably seen Verte on every list. And honestly, it's probably about Verte's time. Now, the counter argument is because they just revealed Preta Plant support that maybe Verte doesn't get hit. Um, honestly, I still think it's Verte's time. I think a lot of people feel like Verte is too easy in like either a simple game state to make a card as powerful as DPE, or when you're supposed to be getting punished by hand traps, you can simply make a Verte and still end on something as powerful as Destroy Phoenix Enforcer or Dark Dragoon, but Destroy Phoenix Enforcer is definitely more of the problem right now. So I think Verte is on a lot of people's lists. There is, of course, Imperial Order, threat number one, right? Like, no one really likes Imperial Order, although I have seen a decent amount of people sort of argue for the card to stay in the game, like, for whatever their reasoning is, whether it be to protect themselves from Lightning Storm and all the cards that blow up back row, right? Like, people say they need outs to those. Uh, people argue that, like, Imperial Order, you should build your deck better to counter it, which, personally, I think is a terrible argument, but it is one that exists out there, so... There are some defenders of Imperial Order, but overall I think it's a pretty uh, polarizing card in the format that most people tend to hate. Uh, it's just so powerful, right? Like, if you open a hand of three spells, Imperial Order is shutting down over half your hand right there, right? Well, I mean, if you went second, it's shutting down exactly half your hand with three cards. But a card that can just shut down so many parts of your hand, or just an entire part of the game... With almost no drawback, I mean, 700 life points isn't really a drawback when your opponent is setting up, you know, their FTK board and then setting Imperial Order. Imperial Order is a problem. We, we want it gone. But, you know, it's ah, it's it's a very powerful card. It's also a Saki one of. Yeah, I mean, Imperial Order is definitely on my radar to be banned. But is it going to be my one pick? I'm not quite sure. Uh, another card to talk about is Artifact Scythe. And I absolutely hate Artifact Scythe. He is so, so toxic because he's shutting down an entire part of the game by activating. You know, like, same with Imperial Order. It shuts down an entire part of the game. But, like, Scythe is such a problem because of his ease of access. Like, any two monsters can make Dagda. You act in effect, you get Scythe. If you can make DPE, you have a way to pop Scythe. And so many decks have gravitated to just making Dagda uh, Verte and then setting up DPE Scythe that it's so easy to get to for such a powerful effect. And other decks are using Scythe differently than that, but still in their own way. Like, Drytron can actually search Scythe with Venten and then pop him with uh, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer if they choose to go that way. And yeah, like a lot of decks, and then Striker is another one I should mention. They're not like popping Scythe with DPE, although they can if they draw it. I've seen them just run like Ignitions and Sanctums and just run huge uh, like artifact packages just to be able to turbo out Scythe and it's a really polarizing card that warps how we have to play our decks. I mean your deck is mandated to run DD Crows and Cosmics at this point just to out Scythe and uh, of course if you're playing a deck that doesn't use the extra deck you don't have to run these cards but for every other deck in the game which is the bulk of them they have to prepare so much for Scythe that it creates such a weird warp in the format for how you have to build your deck around a certain card, which is so limiting in just a building design. And it's one of the reasons I hate Scythe the most is I have to dedicate six slots instantly. Uh, but on to the next card, 
Samorg, I think, is on some people's lists. For some people, it's Samorg. For some people, it's Featherstorm. I'm sort of leaning towards Samorg as far as, like, cards like, hey, I don't think Samorg has done a fair thing in its entire life in Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything that card has done is unfair. I mean, summoning, like, a starter or a negate every single turn, or even worse, the statue. This format statue hasn't been as bad, but in the first Bird Up format, that statue was a menace, and... Yeah, Statue, Apex, Avian, like, your starters. Samorg is so, so good because it's just, you know, free every turn. And then it also has this super obnoxious protection effect where it can't be targeted by the likes of Effect Veiler or Imperm. And even more so, the cards under it can't be targeted by Veiler or Imperm. So, like, if they set up Statue, you can't even draw Imperm for turn and, like, Impermanence the Statue. No, it can't be targeted for whatever reason. It's really, really obnoxious. The card is so, so powerful for how free it is. I mean, literally Tri Brigade can make it in so many different ways. It's just not even cool, especially, you know, the Bird Up variant. And yeah, Samorg is just such a powerful card that I think it could be his time to go. Uh, there's also, you could argue, Featherstorm because it is literally one of the most broken cards Yu-Gi-Oh! has at this point. Um, but even still, at least that's like not searchable or summonable every game and you have to like you know draw it and a lot of builds are actually siding it and i think banning a side deck card is always really weird uh if i was going to hit a card it'd be some more personally um but yeah those are the main cards on my radar i'm thinking if i'm missing one that a lot of people want banned um those are what i'm going to include in this video i'm sure there's a bunch of never mind protos i hate protos protos is awful uh, if you're unaware of the rampaging Protoss in every Sword Soul deck, uh, it pretty much stops a lot of decks from playing the game entirely, especially dark decks. Um, you can combo it with like the um, Yang Zing Synchro that stops light effects, and you've pretty much turned off lights and darks. It's pretty crazy. And you have so many attributes in Sword Soul that you can turn off pretty much any attribute, and it's it's oh it's such a powerful floodgate uh, that's hard to out as well, and it's just so free and searchable. I despise Protos, but that's sort of a summary of all the cards that I think have potential to get banned. I mean, knowing Konami, they're not going to ban any of them because that's the Konami special. Uh, but if I personally had to choose a card to ban, and before I mention it, you can go ahead and leave down below in the comments which of these cards you would ban or if there's a different card you personally want to see banned. Again, this is only if you can choose one card. Like, Konami's banning one card, you get to pick it. What is it? Um, so yeah, leave those down in the comments below, I'll be sure to read them. And for my personal pick, it is Artifact Scythe. So, again, I mentioned sort of my, you know, two cents with Scythe and why I hate it so much. I absolutely despise how searchable it is. Like, any competent deck that can put up monsters on board, uh, Phantom Knight, Pendulum, uh, Drytron... Uh, Striker in its own way, even though it's different from the very normal Dagda, Verte, Scythe thing. It is so toxic and it's everywhere. Like, it is just everywhere. And that's my problem with it. How easy it is to get to and just how many decks are playing it. It forces you, if you're running an extra deck and you need it, to play cards like Cosmic Cyclone, DD Crow. You know, you have to droplets at the right time. And even then, decks like Phantom Knights have outs around droplet. Decks like Pendulum, you can't like Imperm or Chalice it because they'll chain the TG Wonder Magician. Uh, or they'll have multiple ways to pop the Scythe so you can't even like negate the Halky Fibrax summoning the Wonder Magician. The fact that you sometimes even if you draw the cards to punish Scythe, if they set up on a gate like Baron or a way around it, it just didn't matter that you drew the out anyways. You're just going to lose. And I hate how just toxic Artifact Scythe is and how many cards you have to play to prep for it. And how easy it is for them to get there. I feel like banning Scythe does the most to the format because it just limits that option entirely. Scythe is gone. Like decks can't just make Dagda and Verte and go for a Scythe lock. The best they can do now is make, you know, set Artifact Lancia, which I don't even know if it's worth playing at that point. Um, Lancia is a great card, don't get me wrong, but I feel like your end board could be a lot better than going for Verte. Well, you're going for Verte anyways, but then going for Dagda. Um... But Scythe is so powerful on his own, he's pretty much, if you set up any board, you're just, you know, OTKing your opponent next turn. He's a turn skip, essentially, and it's it's so toxic. So my personal pick is Artifact Scythe. Uh, but again, leave yours down below, tell me what you think, you know, 
This ban list hopefully has some good surprises for us. I know a lot of people are looking for some change. We do have grand creators coming up as well, so some people have said that they think the ban list might be smaller because grand creators will kind of change the format, but I'm hoping for something big, something exciting, and yeah. Uh, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. This has been Aaron from Top Tier Gaming. Bye, YouTube.